a little dance through Camelot today, friends, as we look at JFK's astrology and Jackie O. Welcome back to the channel. This is Lydia with the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology channel. Often, I like to read the charts of famous people because I think it helps us to better understand our own charts and our own lives. So again, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. We're going into looking at different um, Chinese astrology for politicians, political figures, from the past, just covered uh, Abe Lincoln. Very interesting reading that was. And I've had this one on my desk for a while and just decided, hmm, let's just take a look. What was this couple? They certainly on paper looked beautiful, regal, and really a huge bit of the Kennedy family has felt like American royalty. So, JFK is born May 29th, 1917 at 14 o'clock. Interesting chart in that he is a double snake and a double sheep. <laughs> Interesting because this kind of points to someone that, you know, it's um, a very strong chart for somebody's career and their marriage, but as far as his own self goes, this is someone who is actually rather weak. Um, and let's just break down his Bazi astrology. And Bazi astrology, remember, is uh, based on the five elements and 12 Chinese zodiac animals. And how they interact with your day is everything. So he's born in a yin fire snake year, the month of yin wood snake, the day of yin metal sheep, and the hour of yin wood sheep. So we got two snakes sitting next to two sheep. This is a chart, just looking at it. It is so hot. It is such a hot chart um, because the snake is hot earth. So his pattern is fire, extremely strong. But in fact, the fire pattern is um, kind of like a fake follow ruler chart because it's over 40% of his chart is fire. What nourishes him earth is 23%, which is balanced, but his metal self at 13% is weak. And there's no water, um, wood, which is what he controls, that's balanced at 26%. So we see somebody whose identity is so focused on his career, on what is controlling him. Also interesting that this chart is very yin. This was someone very in touch with their divine feminine self. He also had weak life force. Um, and as we're looking at this chart, we see his life pillar. The secret part of his chart is a yin wood snake. It's a lot of fire. So his life is interesting because it explains everything about why he was here. And the predominant relationship for him was his relationship with his father and father figures. It's also about infidelity and the impact that infidelity has on him. Then we also have somebody destined to inherit wealth um, and to sustain a lifetime of chronic health issues. We, I do know that he had a horrible back. I don't know why he had a bad back, but he had a really bad back. He used to rock in a rocking chair at the White House to, to ease his discomfort. Um, 
So the Yinwood snake as his life points to that relationship with his father, also the role of family and his, um, his ancestry. That line is so powerful in American politics. Then in addition to that, it's not just, it's also his daughter is a paramount person to him. His brothers, less or so, his mother, slightly, government, law, all of that integral in the root of his life. Um, and this is someone who is destined to have a life that is dutiful and family focused more than anything else. And to a certain extent, for him to learn himself through playing different roles. So you learn yourself through being the president of the United States, for instance. And when we look at his personality, this is somebody who is so smart. He was so, so, so smart, very good writer. But you know, this is the spicy part. This guy was flamboyant, action-oriented, couldn't sit still, a survivor, a fighter, a manipulator, um, you know, somebody that uh, whether on at the boardroom or on the, the playing field, very competitive, independent, um, chases after his desires, very adventurous. He's kind of a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I love all of that. And as we go through his luck cycles, which we go through every 10 years, we start to see how things shape for him. And unfortunately, there are charts that you can see there may not be a way forward for you to live a really long life. And um, the first challenging point that shows up is at the age of only 27. I mean, he did die very young. The age of 27 to 36, this is 1944 to 1954, he came into a Yang Water Tiger luck cycle. And this is interesting pairing because the water is controlling the pattern of his chart that is so dominant, that fire, all of that water comes in. It's welcome water. And the wood of the tiger um, brings in wealth. This was a changeable time for him, a time of action, of rebellion, of um, taking a, a fresh road in his life, you know, really um, staking his claim on his path. This was a time of getting married. It was a time for... Um, romance and travel, making money, having a fortune, being very successful. It talks about government. It talks about work. It talks about family. And also deep down in there is his mom. So this is where it all goes wrong. Unfortunately, we move now into a yin metal ox luck cycle in 1954. And he was assassinated in 1963, one year before his luck cycle shift, which would have changed everything, would have changed everything. Um, meaning that he would have been freed one year to go before he was freed from this horrible punishment. I've talked about these punishments and penalties in another video. How they can completely take you down. So what happened? Well, here we go. The first piece is, you know, for it, all of this decade, and he became president in 1961, is the yin metal speaks of him. At this point, 
this was a moment in his life when he had such sovereignty of self, such a voice for himself, such a following and support, so confident, so in his agency. This is who I am. And the mentioning of government, of support, of backing, this was a teachable time. This was a time of divinity at work. Like this was a, a, a destiny of his. And there was a lot inspiring his path forward, the actions that he was taking. And that really was it. It's not talking about money. It's not talking about children. It's not talking about anything other than himself on a little bit of like what some people might say is the mission to do God's work or feeling spiritually inclined to take action. But he's feeling a lot of support. And so when we look at JFK, John F. Kennedy, and we see that the, uh, the, the this conflict of the ox in this period is banging up against both of his sheep. This is his career, and it is also himself. Now, in the breaking open, because this is what happens when we have a conflict, these two animals bang up against each other, and what is hidden inside each one breaks open. For him, what breaks open is some kind of sudden, abrupt change in his career. Well, that certainly happened. He became president. But we look deeper to see that at the root of all of this, he has money. He has um, a surge of money coming in. And at the root of all of this is his father and the patriarchy. It's... Um, and again, it's like there is a shakeup to his career that, uh, that impacts his ability to take action. So there feels like there's movement um, and the possibility of some of that movement being stalwarted, like slowed down. This is going to harm the pattern of his chart and bring down fire bring down water, which is non-existent, and boost up earth, which is his support. And earth is also government. So the day that he's assassinated, November 22nd, 1963, at 1230 in the afternoon, was a yin water rabbit year, a yin water pig month, a yin earth snake day and a yang metal horse hour. Now, the hour is gunfire. This is yang metal with, um, which is a gun, can be a gun, can be any sort of weapon. And then the fire is the bullet taking action. And it speaks of danger to his career and the loss of self. It's rather chilling. Yeah. The other thing that's interesting is that the month of November forms a full wood trio. And then on top of that, um, the horse of that hour combines, it's the missing piece between the snakes and the sheep in his chart to form a fire trio. This is like a bolt. This is like, this is so much fire. And all of that wood feeding the fire, it is out of control. And in all of that, um, being out of control, is the metal that is him is extinguished. 
the pattern so over dominates the chart that the day master can no longer hold on and is lost. And so for that, you know, it's just, it's so interesting to see this. Now, conspiracy theories and all of that was the setup, was the man that was accused of killing him set up? Were there more than one shooter? Can you see that in astrology? I don't think so. I don't see, um, you know, you, you wish that you could see those things, don't you? But uh, let's leave it at the story that it is. Let's move to Jackie O. What a queen she was. So regal. I, I don't know that we have had anyone in the White House since who has such style and grace and poise. She really was um, so refreshing. Uh, her birthday is July 28th, 1929. Gosh, these were so long ago, weren't they? At 1330 is her hour. And um, her, you know, she's interesting. Um, so there's quite a bit of age difference here, um, 12 years. So she is also a snake person. Um, and she also has sheep all over her chart. These two, like, their charts are so similar. She's born the year of a yin earth snake. Just a little more tamed than his fire snake. And let's just say... Uh, going back quickly to JFK, his snake and sheep speak of somebody that is a peacemaker, working behind the scenes, intuiting what needs to happen. There is that snake is all the charm. That's where his charm comes in. Um, and all the fieriness, you know, the warmth of his personality the sheep is all about peacemaking and is a true artist and real, you know, like I said, I think that maybe his gift was in speech writing or other things that he might have been writing. Um, uh, but that core piece of him that he was very much about um, proponent of peace. But if you ask me, I think a huge driving force of his career was maybe finishing the work of his father or something, but his dad is all over his career. All right, so um, when we look at Jackie O, Jacqueline of Nassus, Kennedy Onassis, um, Yin Earth Snake Year, Yin Metal Sheep Month, Yang Wood Dog Day, and a yin metal sheep hour. Now her day is in void. And I don't, I don't know how much I've talked about voids, but we all have two void zodiac animals. And these are animals that work in such a way in our chart to make it so that things are just obstacles. Like if you have a luck cycle that is in void, it's a time that I, I equate it to walking knee deep in mud through a fog. It's hard to make clear decisions. Um, you're more likely to make a mistake. You're more likely to buy a money pit of a house, um, a lemon of a car, those kinds of things. When it shows up in your chart, it speaks of the relationships associated with that pillar being ones that are, there's a disconnect for instance, if it shows up with your year, it can mean that you have been somehow um, exiled from your elder relatives in some way. Maybe you uh, immigrated to another country and left all of your relatives behind, that kind of thing. 
When it shows up with your month, I often see this as parents that are either physically or emotionally unavailable, maybe a father in the military, a mom that travels for her job, things like that. But it can also just mean emotionally they just weren't there for you. When it shows up in your day, it can mean that you're it's hard for you to hold a long-term romantic relationship. There is distance with that relationship. And again, that can be emotional. It can also be physical as in a husband that travels or a partner that travels. And then the hour, if there's a void in the hour, I've seen this so many times. This is where women can have a really hard time conceiving or have a really hard time um, delivering a baby. It can point to postpartum issues. It can point to a disconnect with your children. Like you just, for whatever reason, aren't able to fully connect. And maybe you travel for your job. Maybe you are working three jobs and are hardly ever home. So all of that. But this is showing up in her day. And we know that JFK was, um, was cheating on her. And we know, of course, as a president, how how available are you in your marriage when you're a politician? I don't know. But um, it's interesting because he's 12 years older than she is. I didn't realize there was such an age difference. And it speaks of a father figure front and center as what she's looking for in a relationship. And when I see that, I always think older man. So she was looking for an older man. She's looking for financial resources. She's looking for love. But unfortunately, this also speaks of somebody who is with somebody that is likely to be cheating on her for the infidelity. And it's interesting that that shows up hidden in his chart and front and center with hers. Tucked into this is um, marriage, which shows that even though the void is there, this marriage is rooted and strong. And then, um, and there's also within this a measure of rebellion, kind of like somebody that is provocative, innovative, um, bold in their decisions, a little reckless even. It's a little risque in there. Um, so anyway, all that to be said, and he, you know, in relationship is again, looking for somebody that is really his teacher, somebody that inspires him. Um, and somebody who challenges him, maybe is a little bit difficult. Um, and tucked into that is love and shared resources and infidelity. So all that to be said, um, the dog with his sheep suggest, um, they form a penalty. And that's another interesting thing. You know, when we do these readings of couples, it can also be your business partner. If you have one set of Zodiac animals and this per other person has the finishing piece, together you form a penalty or a punishment. This is going to be a very conflicted relationship. And I don't imagine that with everything going on, that this was an easy marriage. Um, you know, everything looks glossy in Life magazine, right? But the day-to-day -day of life, I don't know how satisfied she was as a wife or how satisfied he was as a husband. But together, what they formed was the kind of punishment that radiated into their careers. Um, and it spo speaks of family dynamics that are stressful to the point of causing harm to your health and your overall welfare. Um, so her chart is also two yin, 
She is a more medium life force, but she also doesn't have water in her chart. But the element that she has the most of here is earth, which is the element that nourishes him. Um, but she is very weak. She was extremely weak. She had no water. And her own wood element, 15%. Fire, what she produces, weak at 9%. Earth, consuming her chart with two sheep and a dog, absolutely. So, and that's the pattern of her chart was earth. Um, metal, what rules her, 35%. So this is a very cold, dry chart, whereas his was hot and dry. Um, and you know, for her, again, the snake as the year, it shows the sensuality, the pre preference perhaps to be more behind the scenes and intuiting what needs to happen and um, discernment being very strong with snake people. But the dog as her day speaks of somebody that is very much about fairness and judgment. Somebody who rallies and takes wants to take a, a stand for those who can't help themselves. And that really shows up. This was somebody who um, uh, is destined to have a successful, glamorous life. This is somebody who is a dreamer somebody that is idealistic, head in the clouds, and a great communicator, great sense of humor, even a little biting in her humor, works herself to death, and her focus in life so hard is to improve the lives of others, to help people. Very strong signature in her chart, and to be surrounded by beauty, surrounded by beautiful things, fashion, interior design, all of it. And someone who just loved life and took it in with great delight. So on the day of the assassination, we see that this um, comes in that hour brings in this shock of destabilizing sudden conflict and change. And again, this feeling of um, yeah, like um, there's a loss of fortune. And there's a real change, like this is a revolution. Um, that particular year that he, of his assassination, um, 1963, for her was so much about government and politics, but also her role as a mother being really strong. And um, it's just, it's such a tragedy how this marriage ended, how his presidency ended. Um, you know, her chart is fake follow wealth. His is fake follow ruler. You know, these are two people who really had um, a lot working for and against them. So when we look at her career, her career is so much about family. It's about duty. Um, it's very, it's a very strong presence that yin metal sheep in her hour. And when we look at the, the, the other parts of it, it shows somebody that is destined to be successful and wealthy in their career. Um, and that she would 
like she was bringing a certain amount of change into certain industries, like fashion, for instance, comes to mind. And she also in her career um, felt like she had to play some different roles. Um, certainly First Lady is a massive role to play. Um, when we look at some other highlights that happened after her, um, after all of these events of 1963, and we fast forward into the 90s for her, Jacqueline uh, Kennedy Onassis, in November 1993, you might remember she was thrown from a horse and then the next year, um, she died from cancer. And when we look at this, and this is such a thing, I keep telling you, this penalty is dire. So she has the snake hour, I mean, snake year. And this luck cycle, ages 63 to 72, began in 1992 brought in a Yang Earth Tiger. The Tiger forms a semi-penalty with her snake. Wow, and um, you know, May 19th, 1994, she died. And it was the month of the snake day of the snake, year of the dog, and the, the, the year that she died mirrored her own day, day pillar. So, um, you know, this just feels like um, exactly what happens when we see that penalty. And again, 2025 coming up, it's going to be a big year for a lot of people, some real shakeups that we're going to see out in the world. But I wanted to give you this reading on these two. Um, very interesting how it plays out for them and um, a bit of a tragic tale. I welcome your comments. Thank you so much for subscribing, for being part of this channel. And until next time, friends, please be well.